in our previous few sessions we have learned what are objects what are setters and getters in object and also how to use object dot define property method now in this we are going to see some of the practice set so that you will be having clear understanding on object setters and getters so these are the questions and also i have already written the answer for this and i am going to explain you all the four things so that you will be having clear understanding on this practice set so first what are data property and accessor property in okay, previous session we have seen how to give properties how to give methods inside the object and also how to use getters how to use setters using the get and set keyword now what is this data property and accessor property so i will just come here i am just going to copy this first example and here i am just going to paste now here i am having student this first name i have given the property and using this getter i have given one function and here i have just written this first name now i am just going to display this log and here i will be giving first name first name then i am just going to give log and inside this i am just going to write here student student dot get name and also here i am just going to write student i will save this now for both of this i got the value as khanam okay you can see here i am having khanam so the return value is khanam now what is this data property and accessor property the properties which are defined using this key and value pairs are called as data properties so this first one it is called as data property and the values which we are accessing using this getter and setters are called as accessor properties accessor properties okay these are called as accessor properties both setter and getter are called as accessor properties and the values which are defined using this key and value pairs are called as data property now suppose as a, as we have already seen we cannot give this whenever we are calling this function using getter we cannot use this parenthesis we will be getting the error so for normal function we can use parenthesis but for setter function we cannot use this parenthesis okay this is called as data property and this is called as accessor property this is our first example now what is javascript setter and getter let me just copy the same thing i will copy this entire thing and below this i'm just going to paste now in javascript accessor properties are i already told you setters and getters both are called as accessor properties are methods that get or set the value of an object now using get i access the property of the object but using set i can change the value of this property so for that what we will be doing we will be using this get keyword and this set keyword so get keyword it is used to define a getter method to get the property value and set it is used to define a setter method to set the property value okay this is the property and this is the value get is used to get the value and set is used to set this value with the new value so you can see accessor property setter i can give the same thing here i will copy and below this i'm just going to paste this is my getter and that is my setter this is get and this is set now whenever we are giving this set inside this function we have to pass the new value and the new value will be whatever updated value i have given here that will be updated here now i will save this i got the result as khanam you can see i got the result as khanam now i will copy and below this i'm going to paste now you can see the value is changed this is how setters and getters are useful getters are used to access 
and setters are used to set that value with the new value. Now, without using setter, I cannot change the value. Now, I'll save this. You can see Khanam remains Khanam. Khanam will not be changed to Sanya. Using setter, we can change the value the, and also we can update the value. And this value, updated value, will also be changed inside this object. Now, if I just display the object here, student, you can see first name will be Sanya. Now, before adding, if I just display here, I will save this. First name will be Khanam. After changing this one, and this value will be set here. So, when I display this, I will get the result as Sanya. So, this is our second practice set in JavaScript. Accessor properties are methods that get or set the value of an object. For that, we use two keywords get and set. Get is used to define a getter method to get the property value from an object, and set is used to define setter method to set the property value of an object. Now, third, how to use setters and getters inside this object dot define property? We have already understood what is object dot define property method. Now, what I am going to do, I am just going to write here object dot define property and this will be taking three parameters first is our object name and here i'm just going to uh, cop let me just copy this one i will copy this object and inside this i'm going to paste object here i'll be closing this object inside this i'm just having the first name Student, the second will be I just want to add age, not age. Let me just add last name. Last name, and here I will be giving the descriptor separated by comma. Inside this, I'm just going to give the descriptor. Now, here I will be writing get. I'm just going to write here function get function, and this function will be returning the first name return this dot first name this dot first name now inside this i'm just going to display this one student i will save this now inside this i'm having last name you can see here i'm just given last name when i click on this the last name will also be displayed as khanam because inside this, I am returning this khanam. Or I can just write like this khanam. And let me just write here sultana, whatever it is. I will save. Now when I open, last name will be sultana. Whatever value it is returning, that will be given to this last name. And this is not displayed because we have already seen. Whenever we are using this object.define property, the property which is added will not be writable will not be enumerable and also will not be configurable. Writable means we cannot change the value. Enumerable means we cannot display this key. And also configurable means we cannot delete this key. In last session, we have understood about all these three keywords. This is only for the explanation. Okay, this is how we are going to use this object.define property. Now, this property, I cannot delete this one. Delete. Okay, because it is not configurable. Student dot last name. I will save this when I open. Last name is still present. Again, if I copy this and if I paste here, I will open. You can see last name is still present. I cannot delete that one. This is how we use this object dot define property. And also, I cannot edit that. Copy, paste it here. Now, my name is Sultana. Let me just change it to Sanya. I will save this. Again, I will copy this. And here, I will be pasting that. Open. You can see this, the name will be Sultana. The name will not be changed. This is how we use this object.define property. And in our previous session, we have seen how to use this arrow function, how to access, how to give the new value, how to update the value, everything we have seen.
Okay, this is our third example. Now our fourth is add two properties using getter and setter. Now I will be taking my previous example. Let me just copy this whole thing. And inside this, I'm just going to paste that one. I will comment it out. Now here I'm having ID and the name. Value I have given dancing for my hobbies. First, I'm just going to get this. I have got the value as dancing. Now I'm just going to set the new value with singing. And when I display this name, student, you can see hobbies. I am having singing. The value is updated. Here I have just updated the new value. Now again, let me just write here get and inside this. Okay, not here. Let me copy this one and below this I am going to paste. I will just remove this and also I am just going to remove this. Now instead of hobbies, let me just write here gender. Gender is nothing but female. And also I am just going to comment. I will save this. You can see gender is also added and hobbies is also added. For hobbies, I have given the value as this one dancing. And for gender, I have given the value as female. Using this object.define property, I have added two getter function. You can use normal function or you can use this arrow function. Normal function, you will just be writing like this function. And after that, we will be writing this. And inside this, we are just going to return the value. I will copy. Here I will be pasting and I am just going to remove this. I will save this. Again, I will get the same thing. For hobbies, I got the result as dancing. You can use either this function or you can either use this arrow function. Okay, let me just use here arrow function. Whatever you want, you can use. This is how I have added two getters. You can see inside this I have added two getters. Now I will be using this getter fun setter function. I will copy and here I am just going to paste. I will just change this to standard. Now here I will be writing set. I will remove this. Function inside this I am just going to write the value this dot okay let me change the name this dot name is equal to value student dot name i'm just going to write here sharma i will save this now you can see i have changed the value of name to sharma you can see the name value is changed. This is how we can use this setter whenever we are setting. You can see inside this I am not having, but here I am having this standard, and here I am having this two getters gender and hobbies. And for setter, I am having one property that is standard. I have set one setter again. I am going to copy, I will be pasting it here. Let me just give here class name. Okay, class data or let me just write here course. Course function value this dot. Okay, I will be changing the name only value. I will copy the same thing. Okay, let me change the ID. This dot ID is equal to value. And inside this, this dot ID, I will be changing it to 7. Now I am having one. I will save this. Okay, let me just remove this. I will save. Now you can see ID is 7 and name is Sharma. This is how we use this setters and getters inside this JavaScript. Now for this hobbies, I have assigned this value dancing. For this gender, I have assigned the value female. But using this getters, whatever value I was having here, Khanam, I can update that value with the new value here. So this is the syntax for that. This dot name, I have just given this value. You can use either fat arrow function like this or you can use the normal function. 
ओके आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड जस्ट प्रैक्टिस एज मच एज यू कैन बिकॉज फॉर मी ऑल्सो इट टूक ऑलमोस्ट वन टू टू डेज टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट दिस ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट डिफाइन प्रॉपर्टी जस्ट प्रैक्टिस दिस प्रैक्टिस मोर एग्जाम्पल्स लुक इन टू मोर वीडियोज इन यूट्यूब लुक इन टू मोर रिसोर्सेज इन गूगल जस्ट प्रैक्टिस एज मच एज यू कैन बिकॉज दिस प्ले अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन ऑब्जेक्ट्स